Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Now, this one is something I wasn't really expecting to make because somebody turned me onto this. Uh, I believe it was yesterday or was it today? I don't know. Either way, somebody told me about this and I had to test it out for myself and the results are kind of insane. I ended up using this specific ammo type in this gun for a pretty decent portion of today. I had to survive factory 35 times as my weekly. So I went to factory with this gun, tried out this ammo, and absolutely demolished people the same as if I was using more or less the best ammo for the gun. Uh, on top of that, having a massively reduced amount of recoil. So lads, let's get into it and let me show you guys the two builds we're going to be having a look at today. So the first is going to be the mutant. Now, you guys have all seen this. This is the standard, you know, quote unquote, meta gun this wipe. Uh, previously, it was the M4. Previously, it was the HK. Previously, the SA-58. Now we have the mutant meta. Now... The problem is with the mutant is a lot of people are like, oh, BP is expensive. BP is hard to come by. I've got to, you know, set alarms on my phone for when Propor resets so I can buy some BP. Or you've got to find a bunch of it in raid. So, you know, not really that viable, you know, if you want to run the gun all day. I'm not going to break the build down because I feel like you guys have all seen it, but the parts are all here. You guys can see on screen if you want to make it yourself. But here is the current stats for it. So you're looking at 56 vertical recoil and 140 horizontal recoil. Now... What we're going to do is we're going to have a look at this, which is the best in slot AKM, or at least the one that I use. This one has 45 vertical recoil and 108 horizontal recoil. So these two guns <clears throat> are two of the best guns in the game at this current moment in time. These two guns can tackle any content, can kill any super geared chad. Doesn't matter what they're wearing. Doesn't matter what visor they have on. Doesn't matter if they're wearing fort. It'll just take a few extra bullets to kill them if you're using BP. Now... The big thing that I learned is that US ammo is available from Purpur, right? It only costs 161 rubles a round, and this is the thing that makes it broken. It adds minus 30 recoil to your weapon. So what I'm going to do <clears throat> is I'm going to take the mag that's filled with BP rounds. We're going to stick that in the mutant, and then I'm going to go to my hideout real quick. And I'm just going to fire all the rounds downrange at the longest range target. Uh, without trying to control the recoil and just show you guys what it looks like. And then after that, we'll do the same thing with the AKM. Let me go here real quick. Just going to line myself with that, that target down there, stick it on full auto, and I'm just going to hold down, left click, and just see what happens. So as you can see, it goes up, left, right, and then settles in like right there on the head. So, you know, pretty manageable to control. If I just back out here, come back in. Thank you, comment section, for letting me know I could do that last time. You know, you can just... Pull down and, you know, get all your shots center mass. You guys, you guys know all this. So, what we're going to do now is I'm going to take the exact same gun, except we're going to put a mag of US ammo into it. Stick it on full auto, and we're going to go same target again. And I'm just going to hold, left click... And now we're going to make <clears throat> an attempt to control it. So. As you guys can see, the grouping is a lot tighter and it's basically a complete laser beam. You only have to do a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of adjustment to your aim. Now, the place where this is going to be absolutely insane is if you're using a scope like a Vortex or like a Valde or uh, an EOTech, like um, what do you call that thing again? The Elkan. Uh, you can just beam with this thing from long range because it has absolutely no kick to it. It's kind of insane. So I'm just going to show you guys real quick with the other AKM that I have here. Just to show you, this is filled with BP rounds just to give you guys an idea. So same thing again. Just going to hold down, left click. You see, it has a lot more initial jump than the mutant does, so it's a little bit harder to control. And we're just going to back out, go back in, and I'm going to make an attempt to control it. So, as you can see, fairly little effort to uh, keep it on target. Just have to jerk my mouse left and right just a little bit to, uh, just to keep it in there. And now what we're going to do is we're going to swap these mags out, and we're going to put the mag of US in here. 
Crack that baby. Hold there and just... As you guys can see, even off the bat, the amount of initial kick is absolutely tiny. And then again, for our last little test here, we're just going to make an effort to control it. I basically don't have to move my mouse. All I have to do is pull it down and it pretty much just works. Like it's, it's absolutely just a laser beam. So yeah, it's um, kind of insane. So to all of you guys out there that are worried about having to wait for Purpur or crafting it and spending 1300 rubles around on BP, uh, you can just buy US ammo. And I can tell you as of like, I used it for like a few hours today and it just, it absolutely wrecks people. This ammo is insane. It's very slept on. Now I'm going to apologize to anybody out there who maybe is already, you know, using this strat to get, you know, even further recoil reduction on these guns that already have very little recoil and are also very, very easy to control. I'm going to apologize to those people. Uh, you have now been outed. And I guess this is a video just as like a PSA that you guys don't have to spend an absolute fortune on BP. You can just spend it on US ammo instead. And you'll hit more shots because of the, the spread is so much tighter. Demolished people on factory with this. Killed a few people with Tagila visors. Even killed a couple of people that were wearing Reese tees. Absolutely zero problem. And just to give you guys an idea of the stats of these ammos, this is uh, Logical Solutions website, TarkovChanges.com. And basically, 762 by 39 BP, you're looking at 58 flesh damage with 47 pen, along with 63 armor damage and minus 3 accuracy. Whereas when we look at 762 by 39 US, we're looking at lower flesh damage, lower pen, lower armor damage, but we're also gaining minus 30 recoil reduction as well along with a plus in accuracy so i know on paper it doesn't look like you know 762 us is the play but in experience from using it you could give me two different guns and two different raids one was loaded with us and one was loaded with bp and i probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference on paper it's such a weird thing compared to how it actually feels in the game so that's i guess the point that i'm trying to make here is go give this a try yourself Stop using BP for a little while. Try running US ammo and see if you have the same results. Because you're going to save yourself an absolute fortune and your guns are going to be way more accurate for it. So that's, uh, I guess that's pretty much all I wanted to say. <laughs> so there you go, lads. Give US ammo a try. It might be the most slept on ammo in the game. As far as I'm concerned, I've used it a decent bit. It feels absolutely fantastic. So lads, give it a try. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like, leave a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe. I would very much appreciate it. And if you guys have any ideas for any videos that you would like to see in the future, make sure to leave a comment and let me know. Or if you've got any other weird ammos that you use that nobody else seems to, that you've been having great success with, let me know. And I'll do a little bit of testing. And I'll do a little bit of research. So lads, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. And peace out, my dudes.